Get ready for another fun practice. No props required as always, but if you are used to having a yoga block or a yoga strap during your practice, you can have it handy. But other than that, you just need your mat, few minutes of your time and some space. As always, please take the practice at your own pace. Go with your breath and use modifications whenever necessary or if you want to amp it up, feel free to do that. And please do consider subscribing to the channel. Whenever you are ready, I'll meet you on the mat. And if you do need a few minutes of extra warm up before you get into the flow, I would highly suggest a few rounds of cat and cow or few rounds of sun salutations before you start the practice. See you on the mat. Come to the top of the mat, feet are hip distance apart. Engage your core, tuck your tailbone and next breath sweep your arms all the way up. Bring your gaze up towards the palms. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, palm the mat and puff your chest towards the mat and shift your weight towards the ball mounts of your feet. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Keep the back of your neck long. Step back into your plank. Bring your knees down onto the mat. Palms come directly underneath your shoulders and knees are underneath your hips. Extend your right leg. Right toes come on the outside of your left hip. You can bring your gaze towards your toes. Draw a big rainbow and bring your toes to touch on the outside of your right hip. We'll do five of those. Sink it with your breath. Draw a big rainbow, bring it on the outside of your left hip. Big rainbow, bring it on the outside of your right hip. Three more. Oops. Sorry, plant. After the fifth one, tuck your right toes behind you. Pull your left knee into your chest, coming into a tiger crunch. Bring your left knee down, float your right leg and take a push up. Lift up, tuck your right toes, left knee into chest, hold your tiger crunch, left knee down, float your right leg and push up. One more. Come back up. Extend your left leg, come into a plank. Bring your right palm directly underneath your right shoulders. Open up into your side plank. Plant your top foot on the mat, optional, and float your right knee into your chest. Extend your right leg. Bring your sit bones down on the mat in a straddle sit. You're facing the back corner of the mat. You can have your arms alongside your ears or behind your sit bones. Point your right foot, exhale, lift your right foot, bring it to meet your left and bring it back into a straddle. Two more. Try to do this without leaning back as much as possible. Engage your core and lift your leg. After the last one, bring your right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Wrap your left hand around your right knee. Take a twist. Release your twist. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Extend your hands alongside your ears. Square your hips so, and your chest towards your right knee. Bring your left elbow on the inside of your left thigh. Extend your right hand up towards the sky. Your sit bones are down towards the mat. Optional to extend your right hand alongside your ears. Keep rotating your top shoulder up towards the sky. Release, plan the mat. Come back into your tiger crunch, this time right knee into your chest and plant your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge, squeeze your inner thighs, square your hips to the mat. Roll on to the knife at side of both your feet, dip your hip, 
extend your right hand towards your back foot. Come back into lizard lunge and take a hip stretch. Back to lizard lunge, hip stretch. Come back to lizard lunge, frame your front foot and float your back feet, foot off the mat, come into an L hold. Square your hips down towards the mat. You can either stay here in your L hold or you can wrap your right palm around on the back of your right ankle, coming into a standing split. Release your splits, back to your L hold, palms come to your chest, warrior three. Bend your left knee, bring it behind your right and extend. Two more curtsy lunges. Extend, pull your left knee into chest, come up into Tadasana, arms are next to your ears. Hold your one legged Tadasana, extend your left leg, point your left foot, tap your left toes down towards the mat and lift up. Two more. Back to one legged Tadasana, release your left foot next to your right, come into Tadasana. Next in breath, sweep your arms, bring your gaze up towards the sky, fold forward. Halfway lift, palm the mat, puff your chest down towards the mat, shift your weight towards your, the ball bones of your feet. Open your sit bones up towards the sky. Step back into plank. Bring your knees down onto the mat, palms come directly underneath your shoulders. Extend your left leg, left toes come on the outside of your right hip. Bring your gaze towards your left toes, optional. Next exhale, draw a big rainbow and bring your left toes on the outside of your left hip. Go with your breath, five of these. One. Try to keep your hips square down towards the mat. Last one, tuck your left foot behind you, bring your right knee into your chest, tiger crunch and hold. Right knee comes down, float your left leg, take a push up. Tuck your left toes, right knee to chest, hold, right knee down, float your left leg, push up, one more. Come back up, step your right leg back, come into a full plank, left palm directly underneath the left shoulder, open up side plank. Plant your top foot, bring your left knee into chest, extend your left leg, sit bones come down towards the mat, come into a straddle set, optional to have your arms alongside your ears, extend both your legs, point your toes, exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right and come back into a straddle set. Engage your thighs while you lift your leg and engage your core. After the last one, bring your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Wrap your right hand around your left knee, take a twist. Release your twist, bring your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Chest is in line with your left knee, arms are extended alongside your ears. You can continue to stay here, optional to bring your right elbow on the inside of your right leg, open your top shoulder up towards the sky, extend your left hand and hold. Optional, 
to bring your left hand alongside your ears. Keep the back of your neck long. Both sit bones are down towards the mat. Release. Palm the mat behind your hips. Bring your chest to square the mat. Pull your left knee into chest. Tiger crunch. Plant your left foot on the outside of your left palm. Lizard lunge. Squeeze your inner thighs. Square your hips down towards the mat. Roll on to the knife edge side of both your feet and dip your hip down. Extend your left hand back towards your left foot, right foot. Back to lizard lunge and take a side body stretch. Back to lizard lunge side body stretch back to lizard lunge where you frame your front foot float your back leg come into an L hold continue to stay here or you can choose to come into a standing split back to L hold square your hips bring your palms to your chest Transition into warrior three. Bend both your knees. Your right knee comes behind your left. Curtsy lunge. And extend back warrior three. Two more. Right knee to chest. One legged Tadasana. Arms extended alongside your ears. Extend your right leg. Point your right foot. Tap your right toes down and lift. Back. Tap your right toes down. Lift. One more. Tap and lift. Back to one legged Tadasana and release. Next in breath, float your heels. Sweep your arms all the way up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Stretch your hamstrings. Step your right leg back, high crescent lunge, arms extended alongside your ears. Bring your arms out in a T, twist towards your bent leg. You can bring your left palm on the outside of your right thigh. Take a twist, deepening your twist. Release your twist. Release, cartwheel your arms, plant your back foot. Come into warrior two. Engage your core, sink your hips down. Extend your left leg, flex your left foot, bend your right knee, shift your hips towards your right, right heel and extend your arms out in a T, coming into a flying monkey. Back into warrior two, extend your left leg flex your left foot clasp your left wrist with your right hand and take a side body stretch back into warrior two bring your left palm to rest on your left thigh or on the inside of your left foot come into a side angle frame your front foot come into a low lunge Step your left foot to meet your right plank. Lift your hips up, coming into downward facing dog. Float your left leg, three like a dog. Turn your palms slightly inwards. Take three push ups, bringing the crown of your head towards the mat and extend back. Shift your weight forward bring your right palm directly underneath your shoulder open up into a side plank come back into plank lift your hips up downward dog float your left leg three legged dog turn your palms inwards three push ups Shift your weight forward, coming into plank. Bring your left foot on the outside of your 
right hip open your chest up towards the sky back to plank lift your hips downward facing dog float your left leg three like a dog turn your palms inwards three push ups this time bring your left knee into chest left shin comes down onto the mat parallel to the short edge bring your hips down seated pigeon so keep your left foot flexed and work to bring your right hip down towards the mat you can either stay here or you can come all the way down onto the mat and deepen your hip stretch release bend your back knee work your back foot towards your right elbow into your right elbow and bind behind your head this is completely optional you can stay in your pigeon if you choose not to do this release your bind sweep your right leg around bring your right foot on the outside of your left hip take a seated twist release your twist plant your right foot slightly on the inside of your left knee bring your right hand few inches in front of your right foot float your back leg lift your sit bones off the mat transition into a half moon a block can come in handy here plant your back foot down bring your left palm on the inside of your right foot extend your right hand alongside your ears next breath bring your left knee and your right elbow to touch underneath your chest for 1 2 and 3 frame your front foot bring your left knee into chest come into a floating chair or you can plant your left foot next to your right release into a one legged tadasana cross your left ankle on top of your right thigh figure 4 sink your hips down grab hold of your left toe with your two piece fingers bring your left knee on the outside of your hip continue to stay here in tadasana or you can play with extending your left leg release come back into one legged tadasana clasp your knife at side of your left foot extend your left leg take a standing twist optional to keep your knee bent release your standing twist grab your left foot behind you extend your right hand alongside your ears square your chest to the front of the mat start kicking into your back hand and transition into a dance pose release your dancer back to one legged tadasana bring your left foot down next in breath sweep your arms up float your heels fold forward plant your palms puff your chest down towards the mat half way lift step back with your left leg come into high crescent lunge squeeze your inner thighs open your arms out in a t twist your twist and square your 
chest towards your bent leg. Deepen your twist by bringing your right palm on the outside of your left thigh. Release your twist, plant your back foot, sink your hips down, open up into warrior two. Shift your hips towards your back heel, extend your front leg, flex your front foot, come into a flying monkey. Back to warrior two, extend both your legs, clasp your right wrist with your left hand, take a side body stretch. Back to warrior two, side angle, choose your hand variation. Frame your front foot, come into a low lunge. Plant your palms, bring your right foot to meet your left plank, lift your hips up, coming into a downward facing dog. Float your right leg, turn your palms slightly inwards, three push-ups, crown of your head comes down towards the mat. One, Shift your weight forward, bring your left palm directly underneath your left shoulder, open up side plank. Transition through your plank, back to downward dog, float your leg, turn your palms, three push-ups. Shift your weight forward, bring your left right foot on the outside of your left hip open your chest up towards the sky release back to plank three legged dog three push ups shift forward come into a pigeon choose your variation if you went all the way down on the other side, keep this side even. Work towards bringing your left hip down towards the mat. Lift up, bend your back knee, work your left ankle towards your left elbow and take a bind. Release your bind, sweep your back leg around, bring your left foot on the outside of your right thigh, wrap your right hand around your left knee, take a twist. Release your twist, bring your left foot on the inside of your right knee, Left palm comes a few inches in front of your left foot. Float your back leg, stack your hips and transition into a half moon. Plant your back foot, frame your front leg. Extend your left hand alongside your ears. Next exhale, bring your left elbow and right knee to touch underneath your chest for three, two, and one. Frame your front foot, bring your back knee in line with your front knee, come into a floating chair or one legged chair. Cross your right ankle over your left hip, sit into figure four. Grab your right toe with your two piece fingers. Bring your right knee on the outside of your right hip. Stay here or you can play with extending your right leg. 
release right knee in front of you to one legged tadasana take a standing twist optional to extend your right leg release your standing twist grab your right foot behind you extend your left hand alongside your ears engage your core kick into your right hand float into a dancers release to one legged tadasana and come into your mountain breathe next in breath float your arms up fold forward half way lift palm the mat step back into plank bring your knees down cross your feet and come into a seated we'll flow into fire log stack your shins with your left shin with your right shin on top of your left flex both your feet stay here sit bones are down onto the mat or you can walk your palms forward and fold switch sides right shin underneath the left stay here keep your feet flexed or walk your palms forward and fold release come all the way up release your legs shift your hips forward make some space behind you we'll come all the way down onto the mat and take a full wheel to end our practice or you can choose to take a bridge <coughs> engage your core tuck your tailbone and lift your hips off the mat stay here in bridge or you can bring your palms on the outside of your ears and exhale push your mat down and lift into your wheel release your back bend hug your knees into your chest release your back and let's end our practice in shavasana you can have your knees bent or your legs extended bring your breathing back to normal take a few minutes to consolidate your practice thank you for choosing to practice with me i hope you enjoyed the practice please do like this video subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the mat next week